saying that in Martin Reynolds' youth, he wrote a number of different articles and books like in the form of English poetry. So he's asking how Gaudi Vaishnavas regard these sort of articles and books of the Bhakti Nath Thakur. Why he wrote? Yes, <laughs> but um, Srila Bhakti Nath Thakur, uh, though he was an eternal associate of the Lord in his youth, uh, he appeared as if he was uh, he was not exhibiting his uh, characteristic as a Vaishnava. He was. Uh, of course, very religious-minded, very philosophically-minded. He studied many different scriptures, and but it, it at least appeared externally that he had not embraced fully the path of Vaishnavism or Gaudiya Vaishnavism. Uh, so we take this as a pastime of the Lord in order to fulfill a, a certain purpose, uh, as was explained. Uh, by some of the other devotees. The, the particular social climate at the time, the, the British were in charge of India, and they were very strongly preaching against Vedic knowledge, against all the Vedic scriptures, and indoctrinating the youth into uh, either Christian concepts or just materialistic concepts. So, and simultaneously, uh, the Gaudiya Vaishnavism was not in very high regard at the time because of so many Sahajya practices. So, Srila uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, by uh, being, he was highly respected for his, that he was an intellectual, he was a very responsible, uh, had a very responsible post in society. Uh, so because of his, his external appearance, uh, it was easy for people to respect him. So that when he fully manifested his uh, nature as an unalloyed uh, associate of the Lord and a staunch advocate of Gaudiya Vaishnavism, then he was so influential, so many persons could accept because uh, it wasn't that he, because of his position in society as a, as a magistrate, as an intellectual, as a broad thinker. So, as far as I understand, the writings he did in his youth were in that mood. They were part of his lila in order to set a certain platform from which people would be able to accept him when he fully adopted the... Uh, Mind of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The moment Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pishtaya Putri, Krishna Bhakti Chakyan Kesha Vaitinami, Ati Matsa Charitaya Swashitanam Sapadine, Jiva Dukhe Sadataya Nam Sayam Pradayam. Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pishtaya Putri. Shishman Bhakti Shiddham Sarashvati Vina Namo Bhakti Vinodaya Sachidanam Narami Ghok Shakti Shavupaya Rupam Gurai We have heard so many things. About two hours we are here. And the devotees are telling so much in so many ways his life, his teaching, his writings, his mood of preaching, everything has been taught. But yet everything has not been told. Brahma can have told, tell with four half mouths how he can do all these things. 
especially he was transcendental, and we are not transcendental. So how we can touch his glory? It has done some person can touch the glory of transcendental. But we have heard some from our Gurudev, from other Vaishnavas, and Sarvati, from other books which are attentive. So, all I have told that he was Saptam Goswami. After Saptam Sada Goswami, up to Bhakti Vinod Thakur, anyone has not take, taken this upana of Saptam Goswami. Only the learned persons and devotees saw the glorious activities of Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur and they gave this upana title of Saptam Goswami. If Bhakti was, but Bhakti no, Thakur was not there at that time, I think the, all the teachings and pure Gauriya Vaishnavism has gone to ocean forever. <coughs> he enlightened again all these things. It was like a uh, darkness period for Gauriya Vaishnavas. At that time, anyone like Sahajiya used to give Siddha, Siddha process, Siddha Pranali. They call, they used to call it Siddha Pranali. And Siddha Deha. To all. They don't know even, they, those persons, not devotees. That don't don't knew any Gauriya Vaishnava philosophy, no sadhacha, nothing, and they used to go to their guru, like Sahaji Babaji, and he used to give them this Siddha Deha and Siddha Pranayama. They are a mis uh, misconception of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teachings. That to be with a, uh, a wife of another person and to go to Vrindavan and what? And to be with her and making children and this is Gauriya Bhakti. Like this. That you are gopi. This is Siddha, Siddha Deha. Oh, come on, come on. I am giving you Siddha, Deha and Siddha Pranami. <coughs> to whom? He is not knowing anything, every city of <coughs> any teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he knows that I am this body. <coughs> he does not know that. I am so, I am the part and parcel and servant of Krishna eternally. He knows nothing. Even he don't know that after pool going to after passing, I don't know how to clean. How to clean? Ever this nothing. But they were given at that time. Siddha Deha and Siddha Pranali. That you are goofy. What is goofy? <laughs> they used to think I am lover and loved, beloved. In this world, like this. So then they think that collect any lady and be with him and enjoy and this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu philosophy, this prayer. At the time of death of any person, taking some money and they used to do Kirtan Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna and fall in the, what? That dead body. Dead body. And having some boys, some rupees for that. 
understand what I am telling? What I do? If anyone was dead and he is a rich person, he took that collect some Vaishnav and he went to this Vaishnav Jati, Vaishnav, and told that I will give you some money and so joined our this procession of dead body. And he used to do Kirtan. Say so they used to do Kirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Krishna. Krishna coming <laughs> and all the people. Oh, very good, very good. They used to give some ruby to them. Also drinking, drinking wine, no heart. Taking flesh and also meat and fishes, no heart. They are called flesh. So all learned person, educated person, is used to have so much shame for this. Then don't you to come in this Vaishnava Vaishnav. So Bhakti Nur Thakur was the first person. He introduced the Chaitanya, philosophy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in learned society. And then all knew this thing. That what is Gaudiya Vaishnav philosophy? What was the philosophy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? What is the really transcendental love and frame after that? So he is Satam Goswami, like Bhagiras who brought Ganges in India. So he brought Bhakti Ganga in this world and again all began to spark and inspire in this Guru Yavashna. If there was no Bhakti no Thakur, we have not planned this mission. Never. If Swamiji was not here, but Swamiji was not gone to Sri Bhakti Veda, Siddhan Saraswati Thakur, and Siddhan Saraswati not coming from Bhakti Vinu Thakur, then where are you at? So it is all coming from Sri Bhakti Vinu Thakur. He preached the doctrines were quite pure. Some say that he has not taken Diksha from Jagannath Asuvar Maharaj. And he has not taken Babaji based from anyone. He took himself Babaji based. And Siddha Bhakti Bhakti Siddhanta Sati also did not take, do not do, uh, sannyas from anyone. So they are not bona fide Chaitanya Mahaprabhu line. They told, tell it, uh, lacking of intelligence and ignorance. They don't know what is Bhagavad Parampara, Guru Parampara and all these things. That is why they are. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has given a very good line as Nodhi Prabhu told and all others told. In Jaiva Dharma, Jaiva Dharma is last book, last book, final book. He has written everything clearly. How a Siddha Deh can be given to anyone? And who is qualified? Qualified person to take this? First, this, in Bhajan Bhashyam, he has tell, written so many things very deeply. Those who want to enter in Bhakti realm, they should try to follow. Bhajan Rahasya and Jaiva Dharma. His all books are like this. First we should try to serve first a slow. Cheto Dhan Paramatyanam Bhav Mahatabhagni Dirvapanam. Then we should follow and practice second day slow. Nam Nam Kari Bhavudhan Visarvasha. Then third, what? Srinathapi Suni Chena Tarurapi Sahisuna. Be like this. And if it is practiced, 
then come in fourth slope. Na dhanam na janam. You should be detached from worldly desires and worldly tastes. Then when you will be pure, always chanting and remembering without any disturbance, then fifth will come. Ayinanda Tamajika. This is Siddhadev. In the beginning. Who am I? I am eternal servant of Krishna. In what time? Everything in is our Atma, but like everything, potency is there in seed, so all the potency of that bhakti and everything is that in our Atma. But without water, air, light, a seed is not sprouted and leaves and branches of any and flowers, manjaris and after that fruit also comes. It is all in that seed of that creeper. But when it will be touched by the air, water, sunlight and all these things, then he will be destroyed. Otherwise not. So when this Fifth slok, Jiva Saru, and after that, Nenam Galadasu Dharaya, Badanam Gadagadaru Dhyagira, Ulukar Neti Tanuba Bhukata, Tamanam Grahani Bhavishati. When anyone will realize these things in his Atma, and he will see that I am eternal servant of Krishna. No worldly desire. Attachment at that time. That time, mercifully, the Swarup Shakti will manifest Ladini and Sambhi in the heart of that devotee. Then we will begin to be rolling down on the earth and taking the name of Krishna. Like Agatamani Jasodhana. He Nanda Suno, where you are. Sometimes he will see in a glance and at once he will run towards Krishna and Krishna will go out of sight and will be rolling down, feeling separation. If anyone not feeling separation for Krishna, Siddha Devi will not come. So at that time, Siddha Devi will come, not before this. If anyone doing this thing, artificially, they will go to hell. Like Babaji, left and left, Babaji in Vrindavan, Radha Kunda, they are only giving birth of children and doing nonsense things. We know one of the brother of Srila Bhakti Siddhan Sarsati Goswami Thakur, the son of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Kedarna, Bhakti Vinod, not of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He used to know that that physical body was Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur and we are son of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. But Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Thakur never told like this. He told like the S.U.S.A.S. of Krishna Radha and Chaitanya. Not as a father that he was blood and flesh and all these things. But all his sons were like this, that we are the children of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So really, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur followed the path of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And what he told, he totally admitted and he followed that. So, only Bhakti, no, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is disciple or anything of Siddha, Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So our goal is Siddha Dev. But what is Siddha Pranali? Who started it? From where it came? In what year it came? From whom came? 
a mon kérdés. Sőle, Rup Sanátan Gosami and Rup Gosami. De a Sanátan Gosami Rup Gosami, no umba vagy. Anyone better tell them that Rup Baba Ji and Sanátan Baba Ji. Sőle, Rup Nath Baba Ji. And who get this Siddha Pranali to him? What is Siddha Pranali? Siddha Pranali is Siddha Shastak. From beginning, those who first they should know that I am eternal Sapeta Krishna of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda. And following Trinadapi Sunej and becoming detached from worldly attractions and chanting and remembering always 24 hours. In the guidance of any very qualified Vaishnava, Tannama Rupa Charitadi, Sukratanam Kravena Rasanama Nisini Yodja. Sitchan Prajeta Dhanuragi Jananugami Kalam Naeda Khilami Spiritual. This is Siddha Pranayi. Ravnath Das Goswami has told this Siddha Pranayi. In Manashiksha all are this Pranayi. And without accepting all these things, oh, you are Gopi. You are Lalita Gopi. You are Vishakha Gopi. From where it came? Who first read this? There is no history. It is not our culture. It is not the teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Really, Siddha Dev comes from this. This is Siddha Pranali. Coming from Shabdha to Nishtha, Shabdha, then Guru Karan, Guru Bhajan, Guru Seva, and after that, Hajan Pranali, Shavadam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Shmanam, Padashivanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dashyat, Khatmani, Vedanam, or Sadhu Sanganam, Kirtan, Bhagavad, Shravan, Mathura, Vashri, Putti, Shabdhaya, Shivan, Dita, Process. We will have to come in this process. Then, Krishna will mercifully, Srimati Radhika will mercifully, Give this Siddha Deva. As in Srimad Bhagavati it is stated, Narad took mantra from Sanat Sanandana Sanatana. And he left his mother drawing. He was drawing and yet he left her mother and went to dense forest. He took his bath and he sat down very silently and he began to chant that mantra. We don't know how many years he practiced. And after that, Krishna came at once in his heart and at once vanished away. He was weeping so much, so much weeping. Then a Akashmani. Voice from the sky. Voice from the sky. Came. And he heard that, Narad, I will not give you darshan again in this material body. You should go on chanting, remembering in this whole world. Always chanting and remembering and glorifying my past times. At the nick of time, death will come and you will put your legs, feet, on the head of death, and you will be liberated. Now began to do this, always chanting, remembering, doing all his Veena Radhika Ramana Nam, Narada Bajaya Veena, Radhika Ramana Nam, like this, Jasomati Nandana, Prajaparanaga, Gokula Ranjana Kana, Gopi Paranathana, 
this bogus gopi bhav. Hmm? Not that. This should come in the real process. This was the main object of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Bhakti Vinod Thakur has one, two lines. His teachings are in only two lines. Jeeva Daya, Krishna Naam, Sarva Dharmasha. Jeeva Daya, Krishna Naam, Sarva Dharmasha. What is this? Essence of all of the teachings of Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Bhagavad, Gita, Puran, Shriti, Smriti, Pancharatra, everything is essence, two things. Jeeva Daya, Krishna Naam. What is the meaning of Jeeva Daya? Jeeva Daya? Mercy to? Two conditions. What is that? Bhakti Vinodhakri has told. What is Jeeva Daya? If you are successful in helping any conditioned soul to turn his mood, <coughs> worldly modes, to turn towards Krishna service, this is best daya or mercy to any condition. It is more than lakhs and lakhs hospital doing, in infrastructure doing, lakhs and lakhs dollars of charities, it is more special thing. Only a realized soul can give this. So this is Jeeva Daya. How do we can attend? Only by name. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam Aiva, Only Nam. Name is himself Krishna, but we can make it pure in the association, association of very bona fide Vaishnava, bona fide Guru. Otherwise, we cannot take pure name and pure Shuddha Bhakti. Shuddha Bhakti, what is Shuddha Bhakti? Raganga Bhakti is Shuddha Bhakti. We think that this Vaidhi Bhakti, Suddha Bhakti, not Suddha Bhakti, never. A spontaneous love to Krishna. This is Raganuga Bhakti. We are practicing this. Then. And when it will be practiced, then it is a Ragatmik praying. When we have no Ragatmik pain and we are cultivating by our whole senses, for that bhakti, then it is Raganuga. And when we accept the same thing which Rupa Goswami possesses in his... What is that? Palladasi of Srimati Radhika. We conditioned soul have only right to go in this, not to being Lalita Vishakha. We cannot accept all these things. It is beyond the limit of conditioned soul. We can follow only Rupa Goswami and Rupa Rati, <coughs> Lavanga Manjari and all Manjaris. For Sanjee Baba, they told that, oh, you are Lalita, I am Lalita. This is like a Maya, Maya Bhat, that is monism. Don't try to go. Don't try to go in this thing. Artificially. Don't do nothing. Imitation. Don't do imitation. Come in the process of Siddha Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And that process is elaborately told by Siddha Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur. Siddha Bhakti Vinod Thakur foretold. Foretold? But that near future, in near future, so many hundred thousands of Western devotees are coming with. Sikha and Tulsi Mala and they will meet with Indian devotees and they will do Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, they will chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, and then our whole world it will spread 
this mission of pure mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So he is the root of all preaching, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So we are indebted to Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, really. Today is the auspicious day. There are so many things to be told. I may tell, uh, tell it no briefly any another day. But I think that uh, what might be useful for you, they have told everything about what we know. Also, today is the auspicious day for Sula. Pradhar Prabhu is himself not only associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is himself, herself for Srimati Radhika. Krishna takes beauty, golden beauty, and mood of Srimati Radhika. And he came in a form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gauchandra. Actually, he is Krishna. Only to satisfy his three modes, Aradhaya Pranay Mahima and to sprinkle the mercy, hmm, to give that frame to all jivas here. Hmm. Because he is so merciful and he is so rashik. Rashik Shekhar Krishna Paramakarun, Ek Dui Hetu Dinan. He was merciful and that is why he is giving Krishna frame to jiva. But what kind of Krishna frame? Prem Shri, the beauty of bhakti. What is that beauty of Unnata Ujjwala Rasang Swabhakti? That is the bond of Rupa Goswami. Tambula, Pranapada, Mardan, Payodana, like this, all these things. Hmm? We are only um, qualified to go in, the, in this. Not Lalita, Vishakha, Chitra, Chandravali and all. We are not like that. So, if Krishna took the mood and beauty of Radhika, then Radhika was like zero. Was she? No. He was only practicing how Srimati Radhika was in meeting and in separation in both ways. How he was happy in serving Krishna, and how he was feeling so much separation more when Krishna used to go to Mathura or Dvarka or in cow herding or if Srimati Radhika has man. Sometimes Krishna used to have man also. So, here in this past times of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gadadhar Prabhu was looking after always very carefully that Krishna is playing my role actually or not. Where is defect? So always looking after. And if there was any loop and hole, there was some loopholes sometimes in Krishna also. So he used to rebuke Krishna and to teach that this mood is mine. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came from uh, Gaya and now he was playing role of O Krishna of everyone. This is the mood of Srimati Radhika. Aitina Dayadra Nathahe Maturana Kadava Lokkase Hridayam Tada Aloka Kataram Like also there is one stroke which um, Madhvendra Puri used to recite. Hey Krishna, hey Chapala, hey Karunaika Sindhu. What is true? Uh, hey Krishna, hey Chapala, hey Karunaika Sindhu. Uh, but what is the first line? Uh, or in Srimad Bhagavatam. Hmm? Like, hey Nath. He Raman, He Prishta, Kwasi Kwasi Mahabuya, Kipanaya, Dasha Ste, Sakhi Dasha Isha, like this. So, Vadatha Pandit, 
was associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in boyhood. He used to play in the lands of Navadvip with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when they were naked. When they were reading in schools, part sala, he was also associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he came from Gaya, he was associate. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took renounce order and gave up his worldly life, he was also associate with him. And he went to Jagannath Puri with him. And he promised that I will never give up this holy land of uh, Jagannath Puri. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going to Vrindavan. Now he was ready to give up this promise. Chetra Sanyas, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, take care of him. Oath of his own head, don't go. You should be here. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted that I should go alone with Navan. Otherwise, if Gadadhar will go, then all will know that I am Krishna. So he was fearing so much. So, anyhow, he has stopped Gadadhar Pandit. Gadadhar Pandit was coming with him uh, up to any village of Odisha, and there was a very big river. Then Mahaprabhu told that you should come with me from here. He should stop you. I am giving you my oath of my gate. Then he went. I at once became friend and Mahaprabhu at once as a nishthu, cruel hearted. He went alone with two Brahmins, unknown Brahmins, and he went to Vrindavan. When he came, he used to be with Gadadhar Pandit in Gopinath temple. <coughs> Gopinath? Sota Gopinath. Sota Gopinath. Once he was hearing Srimad Bhagavatam from Gadadhar Pandit. At once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stood up and told Gadadhar, I want to give you a very wide, near and dear thing to you. Because I want to take. He told that, uh, take some sands from here. And a little sand was taken from there and at Gopinath. Very beautiful deity came from sand. And he gave it to He told that, this is my heart. You should always worship this deity. He began to worship. Once Nityananda Prabhu came having some cloths and beautiful rice and something else and he gave to Gadada that if you should uh, make preparation of rice, shark and all other things. Gadada Pandit was so expert in cooking because she was Radhika and everything cooked by her was like more than nectar. Very quickly he did the rice that is done on the proof. And he gave that bastra to cloth to Gopina. And he took some tetul patta, tamarind leaves, and cooked a very good rasala from that. He took some uh, forest uh, shark leaves and made it so beautiful. And when he offered and Nityananda Prabhu was to take prasad, at once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and told, Oh, you are cheating me? Why you not uh, in, in, invited me? And you are going to take only alone Nityananda and Galadha both? I will also take Mahaprasad. Then he also sat there and Nityananda Prabhu and Mahaprabhu took Prasad and they were very satisfied there. After some time, one day he was hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. But Krishna disappeared from from Rashlila. And they were 
singing and weeping with tears. Tavakatamritam tattajivanam kapiviritam kalmasapam shabanamangalam shrimadatatam bhuvikritantite bhuridajana. Mahaguru began her heart went like that. Brother Prabhu recited in such a separation mood that Mahaprabhu was meant He began to pray. He ran at once towards the temple and went to Jagannath and lived in Jagannath. Gopinath. Gopinath. Madhakarpur. Prabhu was waiting that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will return, but he never returned, never returned. And he began fainted and rolling down on the earth. Oh Mahaprabhu, where you are, let us. In pain, in the mature stage of pain, a Mahabhirahatmi comes, like Koti Koti Pranayagni, means what I told. Separation. In matured stage of pain, a Mahapirahadmi, like more than Koti Koti Pralayagni, destruction, world burning in that, hmm? coming from the third eyes of Sankar, all are burning. So less and less time, more than that, very painful. Hmm? A stage comes. Gopi feel like this in the separation. One month separation, a one moment separation. So painful for this. A arti comes. Arti comes. Arti means. Oh Krishna, where you are? Where you are? Hmm? Like this. This makes a very anarvachaniya sampatti. Anarvachaniya sampatti means? Indescribable wealth. Well. And in this stage, this wealth, what wealth? that I am telling. Hmm? It dance over all kinds of happiness on the heads of all ananda. And that is called Vipralambharas. Hmm? Though it is seen very painful from outside, more than cross and cross heat of pralayagni. Pralayagni means destruction fire. But if a Anarvachani Ananda comes, by seeing this, Krishna melts. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was melted with the, this Pirahadmi of Srila Pradhan Pandi. We cannot define this when we will be in Braja. And when we will feel separation, then we can know something. But we cannot describe to anyone. But it is the highest thing. And if there is nothing, then we cannot taste meeting of Krishna. So, Krishna is melted to see the devotee stage of separation mood. In our Sadhan stage, we will have to feel some separation. If you are not feeling separation for Krishna, how we can do anything for Krishna? We cannot do any sadhana. But if feeling separation, that is something actually. And then more and more, and when we will come to Mark Sadhana, how the mood, how the sadhana, then this something, abhas of that, Dirhagni will be manifest here and then Sri Prasadi will come in this stage. 
So, the ordinary person, they cannot know what is that separation mood. Say they laugh sometimes. When Srivast Pandit was rolling down on the earth and waiting bitterly, hearing this slok of Paraha Apidam Nata Parvapyo, and all the pandits of Navdip were laughing and joking, and they took his body and they, what? they throw him out of that school. They don't know Bhagavad, even. So, they laugh and joke, so Chaitanya, uh, so Srimad Bhagavad is telling, Mukti Tadati Nakshma Bhakti Yogam. Mukti Tadami Karvi. No, 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 Krishna can liberation and can give liberation and all these things. Worldly things he can give easily. Mukti are also very easily. But these friends Krishna does not give to them. Why? Because they don't know, realize this separation mode. They laugh and joke to devotees. That is why they Krishna. He gets to rare only. Where? 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 So Bhakti Vinan, Thakur was one of them. And he was the incarnation of Manifestation of Sila Gadadha Pandit, Gaur Shakti and Gaur Shakti is Gadadha himself, he is Srimati Radhika himself. So if you will take shelter in the Lord's feet of Gadadha Pandit and to Srimati Bhakti Vinod Thakur, then we will come in process and very quickly they will enter in Bhakti Vinod, Shukta Bhakti Kau Pranam Priyo Jasamati Nandana
जय राधे जय कृष्णा Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. 